Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie, and today I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading specifically about money for the Pisces Collective, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see. This is new for me, I don't really do many pick a cards, but I'm kind of into the vibe lately. And I'm going to be pulling three cards, and I'm going to be reading them exactly um, from the booklet. So it's not going to be as intuitive. Because I feel like the booklet, at least in this particular deck, has the most complete explanation. You know, I could I could I couldn't say it better. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. So right now, the way this works is set your intention, ask your angels to please bring in the most relevant message for you in regards to finances. And choose a number. One, two, or three. These cards are really good. Focus on money, abundance, prosperity, career, success. And they have a lot of wisdom in regards to energy dynamics that bring in abundance. Kind of like what we go through in the Abundance Blueprint course. So I would advise you, honestly, to listen to the whole thing. Even if you know that one message is the one that you're choosing, they all have really good, solid advice. So... Number one, number two, and number three. If your message or your number is number one, then your message is <laughs> no more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. It's so easy <laughs> to fall into that complaining mode um, and not even realizing it, especially about money. Alright, so I'm going to read the whole thing. The message for you is, this card is a clear reminder that complaining about finances or the economy is a sure way to manifest money worries. Complaining is an affirmation of victimhood, stating that someone else has power and control. To take back your own power, you'll need to avoid complaining or blaming. This doesn't mean that you should stuff down financial fears or pretend that everything's okay. Rather, the angels are guiding you to elevate your feelings and thoughts so that you can receive the support you need. Try this. Go a whole hour without complaining, silently or out loud, and notice how you feel. This is easier said than done, but you can do it. Then go another hour, and another. Work up until going 24 hours without complaining, as you build your faith and positivity. Just as complaining instantly attracts something new to complain about, I'm going to read that again. Just as complaining instantly attracts something new to complain about, so too does positivity attract wonderful experiences and feelings. Okay, I'm going to make a pause. It's like the algorithm on YouTube. If you start watching negative things, all of a sudden you just go to YouTube and your whole feed is about the same kind of vibe. Negative, dramatic fear-based things. If you start looking up things that are fun, then all of a sudden the algorithm starts showing you things that are fun. It's the same way with Law of Attraction. You might even form a pact with a friend whereby each of you point out when you hear the other one complaining. Oh, that's super useful. Since complaining can be an unconscious habit, this partnership can help you fine-tune your new abundance vocabulary. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. See, that's great advice for everybody. But if you chose number one, then this is particularly for you. If your number was number two, then your message is ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. 
The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. Have you asked for help with this situation? This card is a gentle reminder that heaven can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to request help. And then you accept it when it is offered to you. Of the countless wonderful gifts that God has bestowed upon us, free will is the most powerful. So remember that in order for God and the angels to help you manifest the abundance you desire in your life, you need to ask. Don't worry that you'll ask for the wrong thing. As long as you're sincere in your prayers, heaven will bring you everything for your highest and best good. Tell God whatever is in your heart and has been worrying you. Ask for help and then be open to receive. God and the angels know that you have earthly needs and they are happy to help you fulfill them. As long as you ask, <laughs> that's kind of key here. Um, it doesn't matter how you ask, but only that you do so. This card is urging you to do so right now. You know, sometimes we assume that God knows exactly what we want. Sometimes we assume that we asked already, <laughs> but sometimes we don't. And angels can't come into your life and interfere if you don't give them permission to, if you don't ask them to because of that free will, right? So ask them to, <laughs> pretty much. Asking is a sign that you're willing to work as a co-creator with God and that you freely accept divine intervention into your life. God and the angels want you to be happy and be able to achieve your life purpose. By asking for help, you are coming into alignment with your mission on this planet. See? Great advice. These are all, honestly, big principles as far as manifestation goes. Not only about money about everything. Make sure you know what you want. Make sure that you ask the divine for it. Make sure that you're not getting emotionally attached to all the negative parts of your journey and complaining about them. Because you don't want to interfere attracting a whole bunch of crap when the universe is trying to give you what you asked for. These, this applies for everything, really. All right, so if your message was, or your number was number three, Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes a reality in one way or another. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Now, in my, in my personal experience, um, it's not necessarily visualizing exactly how things are gonna go and wanting them to go specifically as you want to and having control over the whole experience and then expecting for it to show up exactly that way in my opinion it's more of a broad vision it's like you know what i see myself being free i see myself um having a lot of money to spend however i want to help other people to be generous with myself and others, make sure that everything is, you know, kind of like injected with goodness with the money that I receive. Hold that vision, that vision will manifest. It's not like, okay, I'm going to vision, envision that my boss is going to suddenly call me at this time, this day, to tell me that there's a bonus waiting for me for this amount of money. And then expect it to happen exactly like that. You know what I mean? It's different. I would say hold a vision, a broad vision of what you ultimately want to experience. And that's what's going to happen, my loves. Let me read the message here. This card reminds you that whatever you imagine is what you experience. The angels guide you to visualize your desires instead of your fears. Wow, this message is super long. You have received this card to help you adjust your visions, including those that arise from your thoughts and feelings. Have you been imagining worst case scenarios? The ego employs this technique as a way of trying to foresee and control the future. Yet, when we visualize the worst, we call those experiences into being. All right, so it's a matter of balancing, you know, being ready for any possibility, thinking about how things can go wrong so you can take action and prevent anything it's, that is in your control. 
right? But once you do that assessment, logical assessment, let it go. That's pretty much how I see it. Everything that you've been visualizing is in thought form of energy around you. Angels, clairvoyants, and sensitive people can discern these thought forms because they are real energy masses that take shape, that take the shape of what you're visualizing. So for example, if you're envisioning a new home, there will be a thought form energy mass of a home floating next to your head or your shoulders. That's how psychics can accurately say you are manifesting a new home by sensing this thought form. In the tarot, it's kind of similar because in many readings, we say like what it's in your mind and we pull a card and that translates precisely that energy of what you're envisioning. Eventually, all thought forms crystallize into solid matter. The good news is that you can uncrystallize anything in your life that doesn't work by withdrawing the power you've given to it. Do not complain about it or affirm its reality unless it's something positive. When you're visualizing a desire, it helps to have a physical representation. This can be a picture that you cut out, a magazine, a little model of a car you desire, or even a clay sculpture that you make yourself. Having an image or a placeholder object can make the visualization more real to you, and that will increase the effect. A vision board is a place to keep these visual cues of your desires. This can be something as simple as a cork board where you can pin pictures or a large piece of construction paper where you glue inspiring medicine pictures and phrases. The way I do the vision boards lately, it's through canva.com. I don't know if you guys know Canva. It's like the best thing for um, graphic design if you can't afford like an actual graphic designer. And for things like this that, you know, you wouldn't pay someone to do. So basically you do a collage. You look for the images that represent what you want and you do a little collage of them. I put them as a wallpaper on my computer. And that way it's I'm always looking at it. Without paying attention to it, it's always, you know, being programmed into my subconscious mind just by being exposed to those images every single day. So subconscious reprogramming as well is also very powerful for this. Um, yeah, guys, there is a 50% off sale, 15 to the 30th of this month. Buy anything at all at 50% and you'll be, you will be immediately participating to win full access to everything on the website and a refund of whatever product you chose. So there is a course specifically about these things. Because as you can see here, there are techniques, there are ways to direct the energy and to attract abundance. Sometimes we think like, well, the only way for me to get that car is to save and I have this salary so I can only save this a month, so it will take me whatever amount of years. And we get stuck there, and we think there's no more possibilities. But if we learn to manage these energies, that's when all of a sudden opportunities come in. Gifts, bonuses, discounts, all sorts of things. Actually, I'm going to share a little story with you guys, precisely about a car. <laughs> I um, recently manifested a car. And I asked for a loan. I already have a loan for my dream apartment, which also manifested with these tools, everything. Um, so I was thinking, you know, maybe they're not going to give me uh, another loan right away. Because, I mean, that's a little, you know, that's what I thought. And eventually, I sent all the paperwork. They said no. I sent all the paperwork again. Four months later, they said no. And I was like, I really want to manifest this car. My other car is like falling apart. And all of a sudden, it's like Panama Mutter Show or whatever in my country. And like all the banks are being super flexible because they want to give in a, in a span of three days um, as, many, <laughs> as many car loans as possible. I swear to God, this happened. And the first day of that um, motor show, the same guy that had said no to me literally emailed me like, your loan has been approved. I was like, what the fuck? 
I couldn't believe it. Like, I literally, <laughs> the first thing I did was call the bank and see if the email was actually legit. <laughs> I'm like, let's, let's, you know, be objective about this because they just said no and nothing changed. So why are they saying yes? And it's because that out of the blue appeared, the mother show. So that's what I mean. You know, when you hold a vision, when you want something in the physical realm, things may just align themselves. They appear out of nowhere. There's a wall and then suddenly, before you know it, you manifest a door through that wall where there was just a wall before without any doors. And the Abundance Blueprint course is precisely that. It's, it's our full kind of like in-depth experience of these things. Um, alongside with, you know, everything else that we offer in the website, which is like super powerful. So yeah, bottom line, if you buy anything within this period at 50%, you are immediately um, drawn into the thing and you're participating to win a refund for your product and access to everything on the website. Good luck. Could be you. <laughs> I hope it's you. I hope that these are all the answers that you have been praying for. I love you guys with all my heart. I wish you the absolute best. Please make sure to like this video if you enjoy it or if you want to say thank you. Subscribe if it resonates for you. And if by any chance you guys are inspired to say thank you for these readings um, as a donation, you can do so in the PayPal link below. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.